Once again, authorities are warning you about skimming machines that can steal your debit and credit card information at gas pumps and ATMs. Yeah, this time, it comes after a Metairie gas station worker discovered two attached to their pumps before the suspects could fortunately retrieve the data on them. North Shore Bureau Chief Ashley Rodrigue is live near that gas station and Causeway in Galleria with a warning to beware. Good evening, Ashley. Hey there, Karen. This latest discovery has really hit a lot of people at home more than usual because this location is actually prime, right in a high traffic area that feeds right into the interstate, both directions and directly toward the Causeway Bridge. And that is the reason that authorities are, authorities are saying that anyone who uses cards anywhere needs to confirm safety before swiping. A trip to any gas station for Bama Dawkins is strictly a cash transaction. They have too many scams with the cars doing the pumps, so I will never ever use my car at a pump. I barely use it at a gas station, period. And he's right about the increase in incidents involving card skimmers, which are devices illegally placed over the strip reader for debit and credit cards at gas stations and ATMs. The devices store card numbers that thieves then use to clear out bank accounts. Skimming devices are meant to be mobile. They'll be here for a couple days. They're out in a couple days. They, they come in, put them on, gather as much information, then they leave. And they'll go put it on someplace else in another city in another state. Two weekends ago, two men were arrested in Pearl River with card skimming devices, fake IDs, and counterfeit credit cards. Then last week, two skimmers were spotted on pumps at a popular gas station and turned over to the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. So far this year, 75 skimmers have been recovered by local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. So while authorities have stepped up their game to intervene and save stolen numbers, they say unfortunately the burden is on the potential victim to protect yourself. Here, you can end up pulling on this device and make sure that there's nothing here. Check the device itself. Make sure there's no cameras. A lot of these skimming devices will have cameras attached to it so they can catch your pin number after you put in your, uh, your magnetic script. As for Dawkins, his advice is a little more simple. Stop using your car at the gas pump. Now, if you ever find a device, you're told to, or you're asked rather, to let the business know and then call 911. If you ever find that your account has been compromised, possibly because of these schemes and skimmers, you are to alert your bank first, then of course report it to your local law enforcement. Live in Metairie, Ashley Rodriguez, Eyewitness News.